Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV, the official weekly webcast. I'm John. And I'm Allison. And this is your go-to destination for all the latest and greatest news from the world of Disney Infinity. We've got an action-packed show for you guys this week where we're going to count down the winners of our Neverland Challenge. Plus, we've got a brand new Toy Box Challenge for you guys and blueprints and tips and tricks from the guys at Avalanche Software who created Disney Infinity. And what would the show be without also a sneak peek at some new juicy tidbits from Disney Infinity Marvel Superhero? But first, let's kick things off by diving into the winners of our Neverland Challenge. That's right, Allison. Hey, look, you guys out there really unlocked the kid from within and did some awesome toy boxes based on flight and even some piratey themed ones that would make Captain Hook himself proud. So let's fly away to Neverland and check them out. First up at number five, we have Bangarang Battle created by 8-Bit Wizard. On this first Toy Box Adventure of the Week, you'll fly and fight in the tree fort high above Neverland. There's nothing like a battle royale to keep the Toy Box action going. And next up at number four, we have Walk the Plank, created by Vault of Villains. Hook's gone too far, and it's time for some Toy Box payback. Venture forth bravely and find the Lost Boys Treehouse. Collect your pixie dust, take flight, and make your way over to the Jolly Roger and make Hook walk the plank. Don't worry though, it's all harmless in the end. The sharks can't stand the taste of Hook, so it'll be fine, but sometimes you just need to teach a villain a lesson. And coming in at number three, we have Flying Codfish, created by James F. This marvelous toy box invites you to think of a wonderful thought and soar across the London skies as you experience this recreation of the Peter Pan's flight attraction. Wow, can we just say that this was enthralling and just charming. Great job, James F. And almost at the top, at number two, we have Neverland Arena, created by Daniel R. Ahoy! This one is a great competitive toy box that puts the blue team against the orange team. Fight for Peter Pan's team or Hook's team and bring your best effort. The team that is the first to 21 rounds wins the match. A helpful tip, beware the cursed treasure. And rounding out the top five this week, we have the wonderful Never Neverland created by Erdaddy3. This toy box is just gorgeous. Look at the lush terrain and overall design. One can really escape into this one. You must find and rescue all 10 lost boys. As you hunt for them, you will have a chance to explore all of the exciting Neverland Zone. Thanks again, guys, for all those flat-tastic Neverland toy boxes. Now, let's get into this week's challenge. Yes, yeah, so your guys' challenge for this week is actually in celebration of the new film releasing this week. That's right, it's time for the Toy Box Maleficent Challenge. We thought it'd be fun to actually inspire you guys to come up with some great new designs inside the toy box. I mean, maybe you could retell the classic Sleeping Beauty or come up with your own nasty designs that would be worthy of the Mistress of Evil herself, Maleficent. Also, don't forget that you can actually unlock Maleficent as a townsperson in the toy box. Really, Allison? How do you do that? All you gotta do is unlock all of Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey's character chest. She's in one of them. Oh, isn't that interesting? And a little wink, wink, nod, nod to all you guys watching right now. We might have made a special announcement yesterday about the Wicked Maleficent. Did you guys guys catch it? Click on the link below if you want to find out what's going on with Maleficent inside of the 2.0 edition of Disney Infinity. All right, guys, have a great time with the Maleficent Challenge. These submissions are due by Wednesday, June 4th at noon Pacific time. Hey, Sleeping Beauty, wake up. It's time for some Maleficent trivia. Uh, John? <laughs> Ooh, what? What? It's your time to give the trivia. Now it's time for Sleeping Beauty trivia. <laughs> all right, I got a great one for you guys. So here's here's my question for you this week. All right. So in the classic Sleeping Beauty film, Maleficent turns into one incredibly terrifying beast. What kind of beast is it that Maleficent turns into? Go ahead and write your response in the comments or post it on the forums. And now we have another sneak peek at Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes for you. This week we're gonna look at Black Widow. Bring it on. So Black Widow is one of the starter pack characters that comes with Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes. She's actually a really great character when it comes to her special moves and abilities. She is great at moving around the battlefield in a variety of different ways and attacking multiple enemies at the same time. She's a bit of what we call a crowd control character but she certainly is not weak when it comes to combat. Black Widow again will be available with the Disney Infinity Marvel Super Heroes Starter Pack coming this fall. All right guys, hop on over to social media and see what you're talking about this week. Yeah guys, whether Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, we're always paying attention to what you're saying. So make sure you use hashtag Disney Infinity so you can be featured on the social media spotlight. Let's jump in. 
Look who's been busy on Tumblr. Arcane Fire has posted two incredible bases that he made for his Disney Infinity figures. The first one is Rapunzel's Tower featuring his Rapunzel figure, and the second one is a custom base for Anna and Elsa that even glows in the dark. Sweet work, Arcane Fire. We can't wait to see even more custom bases that you make for your Disney Infinity figures. Drew M. Tay on Instagram posted this wicked awesome photo of Vanellope all the way in Australia. I bet she had to hop through a lot of arcade games to get all the way down under. Awesome photo, man. Thanks. And on Twitter, Danielle posted this comment saying, Just started working on my first toy box tonight. I love Disney Infinity. Hey, we can't wait to see your first submission for Toy Box TV, Danielle. And before we go, we have this week's Toy Box tutorials from the guys at Avalanche Software who made Disney Infinity. These will help inspire you as you start jamming away on your next great Toy Box creation. Today I'm going to show you the toy box I made for the Maleficent Challenge. For this challenge I chose to build their castle from the Forbidden Mountains. For the design of this toy box I chose to use Jack's Scary Decorations Texture and the Halloween Sky Dome Hex Coins. Maleficent's goons are out on vacation and she has locked down her castle. You need to sneak in and kick her out. Use the Crow Wing Pack to pose as her pet Raven Diablo and take advantage of the weaknesses in her lockdown. Dodge her turrets. Pendulum hammers, then avoid the lava in the vents. Make sure you look up though so you don't miss the way through the castle. When you get to the top, give Maleficent the boot. I'm going to show you a little trick for placing blockheads. So here you can see my blockheads Merlin, Tinkerbell, and the Fairy Godmother basically stay in one place and don't wander far from their placement point. If you place them normally, they will wander around randomly and can travel quite a distance from their original position. However, to keep them rooted, all you have to do is place your blockheads using the replayer. Follow these steps. First you record your actions, place the blockheads, and stop recording. Now you clear them and bring them back using the playback function and they will be rooted to their placement point and won't wander far. And that's all there is to it. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. But fear not, Alice and I will be back next Thursday with tons of exciting new content to talk about from the world of Disney Infinity. And remember, those Maleficent Toy Boxes are due by June 4th at noon Pacific time. That's right. You guys have an awesome week. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs>